I need you guys to see this. We haven't even started filming yet. I'm waiting for Christina to come down. This thing just turned on by itself. I was over at the TV. I turned on the camera for video evidence. Santa lives. But will he come back on when we want him to? I don't know. Happy holidays, my friends! You got the eggnog again. <laughs> it is day number 15 of Advent Calendar Madness. I am Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. What's up, Stina? Doing better. Doing better? Doing better. <laughs> Doing better. Little by little, we are getting there. We are getting there. We gotta get into the happy part of December, I think. <laughs> But hey, thanks for joining us, guys. Love seeing you here every single day. We've been having a lot of fun getting together to continue our tradition of Advent Calendar Madness. It's been a total blast, and we hope you guys are having a good time, too. So the countdown is on, babe. This is day 15. That means there are 10 days I until know. Christmas. We really have Christmas to Christmas Eve is next Friday. Next Friday. Can you believe it? Oh. Just like every year, it pew, flies, just flies fly. right by. It's insane. So yes, we have much to do, but we're getting close. We're, we're rolling into the, that time now where I think we're going to start really getting a little, have some festive fun, right? We can start really getting into the Christmas movies and eating a bunch of Christmas foods. I've really already stuff. been into the Christmas movies. No, I I'm, don't know where you've been. I know. I, haven't I already really, have been. I haven't really <laughs> sat down to watch very many, but I'm hoping to do that within the next two weeks here since we're down to the wire. So we really got to get that Christmas joy going. And this is a great way to start right yes. here with the show. So I think the best way to celebrate this season, in my opinion, is one of the coolest segments in the history of all of YouTube. But most of those people just don't even know how cool it is. But these people know. Stina, what time it is? It's creepy Santa time. Oh. I, <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's back. He's back. Creepy Santa's 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 back. Creepy Claus is coming to town. Oh. Oh. Do people still do that? No. Do oh. Man. Look, I brought her cough back. <laughs> I'm killing me. Stina over here. She's like choking to death. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Every year, it's amazing. Yes, it's... but what happened about two minutes before this? I know, they saw it already. <laughs> it's just magic. <laughs> it's magic. It's the magic of Christmas, you guys. It is here. It is in this house. Yes. Let's open this first. Oh, okay, that's right. Let's we gotta open Kate and Dan. We gotta open the present from Kate and Dan. I've been opening them all. Do you want to open them? No, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. This one's heavy. I'll serenade you. He just stops working in the middle. He's working right now. It's amazing. I can't get the tape off. Do it, okay. Santa. Ooh, I like it. He got a. Is that a cello? Is he got a cello? Is that a cello? Yeah, cello he Santa. Is a tall Santa. Tall and skinny. He is a very tall Santa. I love it. There's something on the bottom. What's on the bottom? Mom, 96. <laughs> <laughs> this was a gift for mom back in 96. <laughs> well, it went to a good home. Uh, yeah. You think mom just donated it eventually? <laughs> I don't know. One of my kids got this for me. <laughs> well, it's here now, mom. We got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Let's dive into the creepy Santas from our lovely viewers at home. First email today says, hi, Pixel fam. It's hard to believe it's already that time again. I know. And it's, we're almost, we're on the end half of it now. It's nuts. It has definitely become a tradition to watch your advent calendar videos every year and to submit a Santa. I picked up a basket of random Santas at a garage sale in the summer, and this guy was at the bottom. It is very off-putting with his blurry face, and he looks like he's screaming? 
I can't seem to describe it into words. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Chris. Oh. <laughs> this one is cursed. That's, a, that's, that's another That's another one that's been possessed. We had one like this yesterday, kind of. Yes, yeah. that is a cursed Santa. His beard is the same color as his face. What, what's up with his mouth? His crooked mouth. Like he's zombie yeah. Santa. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh my God, I That's love it. it. I yeah. love it. It's so good. Thank you, Chris. Next email says, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Pixel Fam. Hope all is well. I started earlier on creepy, creepy Santa hunting, and first I saw this snow globe, and the fact that its head was the globe was a little weird to me. Second, well, the caption says enough to me. All right, so first picture is the Santa head snow globe. <laughs> I agree. It's like he's got a bowl on his head and his head's underwater for some yeah. reason. What the it's like he poor... put his head <laughs> in the <laughs> fishbowl. Yeah. <laughs> head in the fishbowl, Santa. <laughs> and uh, here is the second picture. So here's the caption he put. Wow, as if the reindeer didn't have the pandemic to worry about already this year. <laughs> it's because we have hunters. Hunter Santas. Bow hunters. Yeah. Uh, Do they hunt reindeer? I... <laughs> Do these Santas hunt reindeer? That's not cool. <laughs> With their bows. <laughs> I, I get it now. I didn't yeah. get it until I read yeah. the caption. That's, okay. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, and that comes from Jason. So, Jason, thank you so much, man. Is I love it. hunting season during Christmas? Too? It is in the winter, but I don't know if it goes over Christmas. I don't know. And it's probably different in different states, too. I, I would assume every state has their own rules for oh. hunting. But we have a lot of deer around here. It's pretty cool. We actually get deer in our backyard all the time. It's awesome. I We've love it. We've had as many as 16 in there. Six, 16 are up it's all awesome. at once. We'll see like whole families just hanging out in our backyard because we got a bunch of woods back here. It's real cool. I like mm. it. I like it. All right. The next email says, hello, Pixel Dan family. I hope you're having a great holiday season. I've been watching the Pixel Dan channel for many years, and I've enjoyed the content you've been making. This time, I decided to join in the creepy Santa fun. Uh, this one I have, I have personally. It was something my grandfather got us many years ago. It doesn't seem to work anymore, but it is supposed to dance and make Christmas sounds. I always thought it looked a little weird, so I thought it'd be cool for your family to have a look if you haven't seen one of these before. And check this guy out. <laughs> I like he's, he's just shaped so weird. He's got like these super broad shoulders and his arms look like they're crooked. But he totally looks like he's into it. Like he's into whatever it he's is so he happy. is doing. He's so happy. Yep. I love it. I love it. Uh, so this email came from uh, Jinji, I think is how you pronounce it, hopefully. Uh, but it's awesome. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. All right. We got one more today. Hi, Dan, lovely Stina, and Pixel Kids. It's your pal, Pierre, from Toys from the Attic. What's up, Pierre? Hey, Pierre. I follow Pierre over on Instagram. Uh, joining the Pixel family once more for their annual Christmas tradition, that is Advent Calendar Madness. I probably say this every year, but can you believe it's Christmas time again? <laughs> It'll keep getting short. I'll keep it short this year because you guys are getting more and more creepy Santa submissions each time. And I think all of your viewers should be a part of it. Over the years, I've collected a backlog of creepy Santas because every time I see one, I take a snapshot. And I'll send you two this year. The first one is a large, roughly 10-foot Santa Claus with odd proportions and a tentacle-like beard. I saw it late last year in the garden center and I've been waiting all year to send it to you. Secondly is a funny little Santa that I just bought the other day. He's doing a hip hop dance and his face totally looks like a character from the Muppet show. That's all for now. I'm wishing you and all of your viewers a happy holidays. Hoping the world will be a lot brighter and more pleasant come 2022. All the best from the Netherlands, Pierre. So here's the giant one he saw at the garden center. That's awesome. It's really cool. I actually really like that. I totally get what he means with a tentacle beard. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's one of those ones that goes like all the way up to his head too. It's the Ursula beard. Oh, yeah, the Ursula. It's the Ursula beard. And then here is the uh, hip hop Santa that he just Aww. bought. I totally get that Muppet vibe from it. He's totally See, right. Yeah, I get more of the Santa from Rudolph. Oh, kind of. With the little black eyes yeah. and everything. He kind of does look mm -hmm. like that. Very cool. Well, Pierre, thanks, man. Those are really, really cool. And uh, that is going to wrap up today's installment of Creepy Santa Time. So, guys, these are amazing. Thank you guys so much for continuing to send them in. We have a lot more to get to in the next 10 days, so we're really going to have to start ramping it up, I think. 
Um, but we're going to keep going. We'll keep going with it like this for a while. We'll see how it goes. If we start getting towards the end of the show and I realize we have a lot to get to, we might have extended segments. We will see how it goes. But it's not too late. If you do want to submit one, we'll do our very best to show it here on the show. Just send it to the email address seen on the screen using the subject line, Creepy Santa. And we'll try to show it off. We love to see him regardless. All right. You ready to open some toys? Yes. All right. Well, let's go ahead and cut on over to Spencer so we can open up day 15 of his fidget calendar. Hey, Spencer. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah. What are we doing today? 15. 15. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, you got it there? All right. Let's do it. What do you think it's going to be today? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, no. You got it. Come on. Do that thing again where you reach under the one up above and push it forward. There you go. There we go. But I don't have a hole. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, oh, my. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay. Huh? I got an infinity cube. An infinity cube? Hey, those are cool. You like those. Yes, yes I do. Wow, they really crammed that in there, didn't they? <laughs> I got it. You got it? Yes. I'm pushing it from the other side. Oh my gosh. Like, like they definitely could have made the hole bigger for this one. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, look at that, man. Show us how it works. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, I like the colors on it too. It's all tie-dyed. Some of it's sticky because it was stuck to the tape. Oh, really? It's got some tape residue on it? We can get that clean. So what do you think, man? Is this a good one? Yeah. You happy with this one? Yep. Awesome, dude. All right. Well, we'll see you back here tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Oakley Doakley. He got an infinity cube today. He loves those things. And he loves those things. It's funny because I literally just bought him an infinity cube while we were uh, on Thanksgiving break mm -hmm. away because we found one while we were traveling. And he's like, oh, I've always wanted one of these. And I was like, all right, I'll buy you one of those. It's so funny that, of course, he ends up getting one in this. Like, if we just would have waited yeah, a couple of weeks, he would have got one in this advent calendar. Yeah, but he's happy. He, he really likes it. I also want to thank uh, everybody in the comments who explained what he got yesterday. It's a fidget ring. Mm -hmm. uh, he had not seen one of those before, but now it makes total sense. But that's why it loops together, and it's just something you're supposed to kind of play with on your finger. So we explained that to him, and he was like, oh, so I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. It did it make a lot more sense. It makes I a lot more sense. I even looked at that. Thing going, We're just like, what is this thing? I don't thing? even know what yeah. this, You just do this. And it's one that he wasn't familiar with. So far, he's been very like, oh, it's one of those. Oh, it's one of those. Or somebody at school's got one of yeah. those. Like, he's been pretty, like, he's known everything in the fidget calendar so far. That was the first one that stumped him, but he's, he seems happier now that he knows. So that's pretty cool. Yep. All right, you ready? Yep. We're going to do your adorables. I'll do my Back to the Future. Let's see, day 15. Where are we at? Where's 15? There he is. Okay. Oh, I got a figure. Oh, look. It's Marty in the hazmat suit. Well, I know what you're getting tomorrow. That means tomorrow we'll be getting the full accessories to create Darth Vader himself. Oh. Darth Vader from Planet Vulcan. It's um, the stepmother. The evil stepmother. Either that stepmother. Was... <laughs> but she's got an actual name. Oh, she does have a Lady Tremaine. Lady, Lady Tremaine. Ha ha. Disney Lady knowledge. <laughs> I was like, I know this. It's Lady something. Yep. Awesome. Yes. You don't see her very often. I know. You're That's getting a awesome. pretty good selection of characters I, out of this. I think so, too. I kind of like that it's not just going for, like, the usual suspects, you know? Me, too. It's like, it's not just straight up, like, you don't ever... here's Belle, here's yeah. Alice, here's Snow White. You know? Like, you're getting a good variety yeah, of things. You don't ever get King Triton. And we yeah. Got, or Simba. Yeah. And Gaston and was Gaston pretty cool. And Gaston and Scuttle. Yeah, Scuttle. Scuttle. Yeah. I am all about the side all characters. All about those side characters, I know. Dingo Aqua. <laughs> All right, let's open a mini figure from Kevin. Kevin at Peg Warmers. By the way, the day that this episode is going up, uh, I am actually appearing on the Peg Warmers podcast. Go check uh, it out. Yeah, we, I filmed with Kevin back at Retro World Expo in Connecticut. Super fun conversation. You guys should head over to the Peg Warmers channel on YouTube and watch that episode. All right. Ooh, hey, oh, this is really cool. I got the lion thing. 
The Lion. Oh, that's the same one we got the other day. Oh, is it? Yep, it's a duplicate. It's like the the Mayan or the Aztec or... Does it say in here? No, there's no instructions in the... I mean, or there's names. no like names in the instruction manual. Yeah. I'm still looking. Okay, so this is really cool. It's the old-timey camera that they used to take the picture of Doc and Marty in front of the oh, clock tower that's cool. when it was being built. And we got that photo that came with the set, so that's pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. All right. Well, that was easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> we got all the way through it. So that was a fun episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for another day of Advent Calendar Madness. Ten more days until Christmas. The final countdown is on, my friends. Stina, any last words of encouragement to everybody who's also rushing to get things done for the holidays? Don't stress. <laughs> there you go. Don't, gonna, don't be like me. You're going to take stress. your own advice? <laughs> I would if I could. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I, get <laughs> I would it. if I could. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. We appreciate you. We will see you back here tomorrow. Until then, I am Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. Happy holidays, my friends. <laughs>